So hey guys and welcome to the video. Today is the 27th of March 2022 and we are here for the second day of the um, Drayton Manor 2022 season. Um, we are here today, I'm here with Jenna. We are here for a um, just a bit of an explore, aren't we? To see what's new, get on some of the rides that were closed for the um, March weekenders, because we were here for the March weekenders, and we got to see the construction um, of the brand new Vikings um, themed area here at Straton Manor, which was really, really cool. We'll show you some of that construction again today, because it's progressed so much since we were last here. The Zampola Disco's now up, and the Zampola Nebula's um, there as well. Um, Jenna, what rides are you looking forward to today? The Rapids. The rapids, yes. The rapids were amazing last year. I need to get my accelerator cred. You do need to get accelerator, but are you going to get that big blue one over there? Shockwave. No. no. <laughs> the UK's only stand-up roller coaster. I can't wait to get back on that. I absolutely love that thing. Um, I thought that I was riding amazing last season, um, and Josh and Zoe were loving it as well. And we'll and we'll get to um, hopefully see them today because uh, they uh, they are now work here at Drayton Manor. So um, yeah. Um, I'm going to go to the ticket office because last time I came here, um, I got my um, season pass and because I didn't have any physical season passes, I've just got a ticket um, and I'm so scared of losing it or ripping it. So I'm going to go to the ticket office first, get my season pass sorted, and then we're going to enter the park and start our day at Drayton Manor. Not sure what we're going to get on first, but I'm hoping um, if the weather does improve, um, I'm hoping to get on things like Stormforce because the weather today is a bit, it's a bit groggy. It's not, it's not the nicest, is it, Jenna? Nah. Uh, so, yeah. Let's start our day here at Drayton Manor. Really looking forward to getting back in there. Right, so here we go then. We're back in Drayton Manor theme park and we're here in the wonderful land of Adventure Cove. Um, this was new for last year um, and they've done a bit of paintwork around here. Like that's all painted up, that's really nice. And look, look who it is, it's Josh on the Wave Swinger. Yeah, loving this so far. Are you excited to get back on um, Wave Swinger? Because that's what we're going on first, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, right. Let's get on the wave swing. I'm not quite sure the entrance has moved it. It was there, so it's down here. Right, let's get on wave swinger. Right then, so we just had a nice reaction right there on wave swinger for our first round of the day. That was really, really good. Did you enjoy that? Yeah. Really good. I really like the way it's themed as well into the area. I think this area is really, really cool. Again, not one of the best themed areas in the UK, but it's, it's definitely up there for me, personally. So right, now we are going to head on this big stand-up roller coaster here, the UK's only stand-up roller coaster, Shockwave. Um, it's got quite a queue, but that's um, the pre-pre-queue, so I'm gonna jump in that now, and uh, yeah, see you off-ride, enjoy this off-ride footage. Uh, see, well, sorry, see you after the ride, enjoy this on-ride footage. Jenna, are you gonna get me on the ride? No. Jenna's B-roll services. <laughs> right, let's head on. you what that thing impresses me every time I ride it. I absolutely love Shockwave here at Drayton Manor. Um, in my opinion, it's one of the best coasters here in the UK. Definitely one of the most unique. That stand-up element definitely gives it that out of control feel and I absolutely love that. Um, it could do with being a bit longer but again they were working with the budget that they had at the time and um, they did what they could and they made a great roller coaster in my opinion. But yeah, only um, stand-up roller coaster with a zero G roll as well. That feels really unique. You get like a unique pop of airtime um, when you go through that element, which is really, really unique. Um, I think it's fantastic, I really do. Um, so we're gonna head off um, towards uh, Accelerator and that lot now, um, just because I, we, we saw the Rapids testing, but it's currently closed. Um, and Jenna wants to go on the Rapids. Oh, here we go. There we go. Like I said, Jenna wants to go on the rapids, so do I. She loved the rapids last time, absolutely fantastic. Again, a brand, not brand new for last year, but they reopened um, last year. Um, they did such a good job with the new boats, the new theming, 
um, and just revitalizing the overall area around the rapids. They did a really, really, really good job. So yeah, let's head off um, and see what we can get on. I have a feeling the rapids are actually going to open soon because I've just seen staff come down the um, come down the uh, uh, queue. So yeah, let's meet up with Jenna and I'll tell you what we're going on next. Might be the rapids, might not. Right, so as I suspected, the um, the Adventure Cove River Rapids have just opened up. So me and Jenna were literally waiting, what, five minutes? And they opened it back up. So we decided, why not come and have a ride? We said we wanted to get on it today, um, and Jenna wanted to go, didn't you, Jenna? Yeah. All right, let's get on this. I absolutely love these, and the soundtrack absolutely slaps. Right, let's get on. This windy queue, look at it. They could have done a better job with this queue, admittedly. A bit windy, isn't it, Jenna? Are all these walls necessary? All <laughs> <laughs> right, let's actually get on. So we just had a great ride there on um, the River Rapids. I absolutely love those. I reckon they're the best rapids in the UK. What do you think, Jenna? I like them. Because after going on the um, Conga River Rapids at um, Alton Towers... I prefer them on. Yeah. I love them. I really do. And I think they did an amazing job with reopening them. And um, yeah, thoroughly impressed with those. They're, they're riding really, really well. And we didn't get wet, did we, though? I did. Oh, what? Oh, <laughs> look at that. Oh, I like. <laughs> She got wet. I got a wet bum. I got a wet bum. Well, to be fair, I got a wet bum as well because the seat was wet. <laughs> um, I'll tell you what we will be getting on later though. I don't know why I segued into that. <laughs> <laughs> but Maelstrom, look at that. Yeah, I've, I've been wanting to get on that um, all uh, close season, so we'll have to um, have a go on there later. I'm not going to have a go on there immediately because the um, queue's quite long. Um, to be fair, crowd level's here today. You, you just got a wave. Oh, did I? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> crowd level's today. It's not very busy, is it? Not bad. It's not bad. It's not bad at all. Um, we're going to head into Thomasland now and we're going to try and see Zoe. Because Zoe's working on the cars thing. I don't know what they're called. Um, we'll, 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 we'll tell you when we get there. Good, do you want to ride in the tr some trucks as well? Yeah, go on then. Yeah, get your cred. <laughs> Good bit of ghost. That's so, right. Let's head off into Thomasland and get on the tour some trucks and whatever ride Zoe's working on. I know what ride she's working on, but I don't know the name of the ride she's working on. That's right, let's get in. All right then, so we did go into Thomas Land and we found out that we, we weren't getting on those cars, were we? So we decided um, that it's best just to come down this area of the park, go towards Apocalypse that way um, and see what we can get on. To be fair, you wanted to go on uh, Accelerator, didn't you? Yeah. I know as well, um, we got, um, like I say, got Apocalypse down this area as well, Sheriff Showdown, which will go on, The Haunting. There's quite a lot of attractions down this area of the park. It's really, really good. And it seems like they've cleaned it a bit. Like, there used to be, um, there used to be things in the middle of the path, I think. So yeah, it's looking nice and open. It's looking nice and fresh around here as well. You can tell they've definitely painted the areas up. I love the attention to detail in this park. I love how they um, preserve what they've got, and I love how they maintain the park as well. I think it's absolutely fantastic. But yeah, you having a good day so far with the rides we've been on? Three yeah. rides. I've been on one ride. <laughs> one ride. Oh, tell you what. Oh look, there he is. Look, Josh, walking back to Wave Swinger. The yeah. Uh, um, let's let's head towards this area of the park and uh, see what we can get on. Right. So, come down this area of the park. We decided that our next ride shall be Accelerator. I love filming this queue because it is so well themed. Jenna, what do you think to the queue so far? Cool. And you're coming on with me. Yeah. Let's get you a cred. Oh yeah. Um, yeah, we went to the Troublesome Trucks and we had a look at those and we were going to go on the Troublesome Trucks. The issue was the queue was so long. Um, anticipating this queue to be decently long, but oh, it's actually come back over here. 40 minutes or so. Do you want to do it? Yeah. Right, let's get on.
right, so then we've just done an accelerator. Um, we only waited oh, 15 minutes for that. Um, to be fair, the, mute, the, the queue was moving really quickly. The operations here at Drake and Manor State have been amazing. Like on the rapids, um, granted, we were, it was a walk on anyway because we were at the front of the queue. Um, you know, um, the wave swinger, um, I'm obligated to say the operations were amazing on that. Um, and uh, yeah, thanks to Josh. And um, on Accelerator, we were pretty much like a 15 minute queue. It really wasn't that bad at all. Um, really, really good operations. Um, so yeah, really impressed. Right, so we are here outside the brand new Viking themed area. Um, I can see a Zamperli Nebula, the first one here in the UK. I'm gonna try and get a good view for you. So have a look at that. You can see that entrance there? That's looking really cool. Um, I'll also put some, um, as I'm talking about it, I'll put some shots that I've recorded on my iPhone and um, that's zoomed in. So look, look at that. And yeah, the, um, the buffalo has now been rethemed to Yomunganda. I think I'm saying that right, Yomunganda. I don't know, I heard, I heard them say it on their TikTok, so I'm copying what they say. So if they've got it wrong on the TikTok, then um, don't blame me. But yeah, I don't know how to say the names of half of those rides. So um, we've, we've had confirmation now, if you've not watched my video on it, that the um, Zamperla Disco, that's gonna be called Thor. The Zamperla Nebulas, um, which you can see over there, or Zamperla Nebula, however you say it, um, that is um, called Loki. Um, you've got your, um, uh, your Porsi ride over there, not sure what that's called. And then again, your Manganda, which is the re-theme of the existing Buffalo ride here at Drayton Manor. And I couldn't be more excited, I really couldn't. I'm not gonna bother making my way to the other side of the car park just because um, Time's quite limited today and we, we weren't here specifically for a construction update, otherwise I would have gone round to the car park and got one, but I will be here again um, in the not too distant future um, to do a complete construction update in regards to um, the outside areas and what you can see in. And oh yeah, Jenna has just put Accelerator on her Craigslist. <laughs> So yeah, not sure what we're gonna go on now. Um, Jenna wants to go in the zoo, so we'll go in the uh, we'll go on the zoo in a little bit. Um, we'll go in the zoo in a, a, a little bit. I a potato on a stick. So do I. <laughs> we saw them like on an advertisement in the ticket office because um, we went to go see if they had any physical season passes now, which they don't. Um, and um, yeah, we we saw these uh, an advertisement for a, for a um, potato on a stick. And you really want one, and so do I. The question is, I know is it, I know the answer already, but. Apocalypse? No. <laughs> <laughs> right. I want to go see how big the queue is on Apocalypse before we commit to going in the queue. Because um, I don't want to really be waiting because it's not fair on Jenna. Um, but so far, like I said, operations have been amazing, which, which basically means that the queues have been really, really good today as well. So yeah, let's head over to Apocalypse and see... Uh, Aww. The, what? It's gone. Oh yeah. Pandemonium. Pandemonium. This is the first time you're seeing it. Gone, isn't it? Uh-huh. Yeah, it's um that that's gone for good now. That is, um, I don't think it's been re relocated anywhere. Um, there was actually um video, which was quite funny, of it on the back of a lorry going <laughs> coming out of like the Drake of the Drake Man roundabout. That's like up the road. Poor pandemonium. <laughs> Poor pandemonium. You know what? It had a long and happy life here at Drayton Manor, but all good things must come to an end. I'm not sure how I feel feel about the ride itself. I only went on it once, and it wasn't a, a particularly good ride. So yeah. Alright then, so we each had a really, really good run through there on the haunting, didn't we? Yeah. The, the effects were all working in there. And it, uh, you know what I love about that? It's it, like Hex, it's a much, it, it's, it's a very comprehensive experience. There's a lot um, of there's a lot of scenes in there and there's a lot of special effects in those scenes. Um, I, I love the madhouse bit as well. To be fair, that's, that's, it's a good madhouse, like the actual ride system at the end. Yeah. Oh, by the way, not friends with these. Because I've just had to. The reason I'm not wearing my fancy Arden hoodie anymore and I've swapped it out is because look at this. A bird has decided that it wants to um, that it wanted to relieve itself all over me. Um, I'm, I'm not. I'm not lying. Look, uh, show them my hair. Like, look at look at my hair. So Ew. now we've now we've shared those. Now we've shared the grizzly details. I'm actually going to go and clean myself in the toilet because it's disgusting and I'm not very happy about it at all. Um, I'm not sure where it happened either. It must have happened in the haunting queue, you know. Like, I, I, I don't know. 
But yeah, Which after conscious now. <laughs> well, to be fair, you're absolutely fine because I've checked you over. But um, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go and clean myself off. We're gonna go get some food, and uh, well, to be fair, we're, we're gonna go to the zoo, aren't we? And have a look at uh, and have a look at the animals, and we'll take you guys along for the for the uh, for the pleasure as well. Um, but yeah. Um, yeah, not half too happy about that. <laughs> Definitely one of the most unique things to happen to me at Drayton Manor. <laughs> oh. is, is, is it? I think so. It's a sign of good luck that I don't want. <laughs> right, let's, let, let's, let's head off. Alright then, so we've just had some food, haven't we, Jenna? Yeah. At the bird kitchen, it was very nice. I, I, a little pot. <laughs> yeah, we ate loads. It was a bit pricey, I will admit, but um, yeah. Well, we did order half the menu. <laughs> Well, we, we, we were hungry and we wanted to almost properly sit down, you know, relax, you know, just 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 just, just, just chill out because, um, to be fair, we have took a bit of a laid back approach to um, today. Um, what we are doing now, continuing on with the um, theme of laid back approaches, is we're um, going to the Drayton Manor Zoo. I love this zoo idea. There's so much here. There's so much space. I absolutely love it. So yeah, what are you looking forward to seeing at the zoo? Parrots. Yeah, because you, you could hear them while I was cleaning myself in those toilets down there. Um, you could hear the uh, hear the parrots um, saying hello, couldn't you? Yeah, like, hello, hello, hello. The meerkats. I, I imagine they'd be inside today because because um, it is quite cold and meerkats don't like the cold. Yeah, we'll have to see if they're in. Are they? Oh, there they are. Look. Oh, look at him. Little Sergey. Sergey. Sergey the meerkat from comparethemeerkat.com. Oh, look at him. Oh, look at him. Oh, there he is. Oh, I'm seeing them. I'm seeing them everywhere now. He's on top of the um, top of big rock, look. Oh, I love these little guys. Oh, there is. Oh, he wants food. That's what it is. Oh, and here we are down the monkey trail now. Oh, I love this bit. I can hear the parrots going absolutely ape. <laughs> we'll go see them in a second because Jenna wants to go see them. Can't see anything here again. Um, as before, oh, well, there he is. Aww. Aww. Oh, he's off. He's off. Oh, oh. you can see our face. <laughs> he's in the, <laughs> the window. He's both in the window. Oh, that's so cute. Oh. Yeah, this is definitely one of the better zoos I've been to. Um, I'm not m a much of a zoo person, but the Drayton Manor Zoo always seems to um, treat their animals um, brilliantly. Like Chesington, really. I imagine they're all inside. Oh, look, there's a, there's a baby again, a couple of months old, a baby. So I'm presuming they're inside. Oh, they're, they are inside, look, I can, see the, um, I can see the sticks and stuff moving. There we go. Hashtag Tamarin Trail. Is there any more in here? Oh, I can I can see them. Here we go. They're up there. You can't quite see them on camera. But if I come if I come here, you'll probably able to see them look. I don't know if you can see them or not. Oh look! The Emperor Tom, Tara, Tar, Tamarin, Tamarin. That's it. Emperor Tamarin. Look at him up there on the on his little perch. I <laughs> got sideburns. <laughs> He's got a cool little mustache going on. Yes. Mustache, beard. Is it beard or mustache? A bit both. Don't know. Right. So moving on. We're here now. For the red pandas. Can't see any from from initial view, but. Uh, Come over here, can we see any? Could see them before. Oh, I imagine I imagine they're in bed. Oh no, there they are, look. Oh, look at him. He's like fist planting into the tree. <laughs> oh, he's having a sleep, he is. Can't see any more though. There was a few of them last time, but again, I imagine they're all in bed. Look at that. See them a bit closer there. Right, and here we go. We're at the Lynxes now. Um, you can see one just down there. He's, he's having a bit of a snooze, he is. <laughs> he, he is flat out. There's another one up there as well. They're both flat out. Yeah, they, these are danger kitties, these are. These are to eat your face. Right, so we've come to the Rissus 
Macaque, I, I, I'm not even gonna bother. <laughs> you know what, I'm terrible with these names. I don't know why Drake and Man, <laughs> why Drake and Man have these types of monkeys with these, with these names, I, I can't say it. But yeah, look at this. Macaca mulaca. <laughs> well, yeah, whatever Jenna said. <laughs> but look, you can see them in the back there. Yeah, I can't zoom in on this camera, so I'll zoom in in post, but yeah, you can just see them at the back. Right, so these are the Hawaiian geese and the Laysan teals, apparently. Assume those are the Hawaiian geese there. Look at them. Come around there, give you a better look. Don't want to startle them, so I'm gonna... Oh, they're making funny noises already. Hello. Look at him down there. It's quite a big area for them, really, this is. Right, here's one for you. The East African Crowned Crane. Oh, look at these. He looks pretty, he does. I like his head. He's having a right good I scratch. I bet they listen to metal. I bet they do, yeah, look. Good mohawk. <laughs> this one's having a clean as well. What stops them from flying away? They've got dick dicks. Oh my god, they got Kirk's dick dicks. <laughs> go on, let's have a look. I can't I can't see any at the moment. We'll probably have to go down there. Oh look at him. Oh. We'll try and find some Kirk Dick Dicks. I don't know if they're around here anywhere. But again, what, what stops some of them from flying away? I don't get it. <laughs> Surely they'll just fly away if they had the opportunity to. Here we go, here's the, I'm not quite sure what these are. Monkeys. Monkeys, these are the um, Aislein. Aislein, Aislein, again, terrible with these names. But look, what? Oh, well, that's, what, that's what I was trying to get to. Oh my God. They got, they got pink butts. That butt. Look at them. Can't quite see them. Let's go and try and find some. Oh, actually, I don't think they got the Kirk Dick Dicks out at the moment. I think they're inside, but there's a tiger in here. Let's have a look. Is he in? Oh, looks like he's out at the moment. He's not in here. Is he out there? Let's go have a look. Let's go have a look. I can hear the parrots already. <laughs> oh, it looks like he's at a pigeon. <laughs> oh, yeah, it does. Yeah, that, that pigeon's a goner. Uh, yeah, we couldn't see him out here before, so I presume he's in that indoor bit over there, away from view. Oh, that's quite a shame. Right, so I've turned the camera around, the, 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 um, the microphone, sorry, so that you can hear them. But yeah, these were, I, I presume, was this a guy that was saying hello? Hello? Oh, you did a nice whistle for me then. He's a pretty bird though. Look at him. He didn't like that. I'm sorry, mate. He wants to pick your eyes out. <laughs> he does. Right. I love parrots and birds and things like that, but I'm actually, I'm actually scared of them. Oh, there they are, look. They are pretty. Can't see him in there. Bet it was the African greys that were saying hello. Bet it was the African greys. I know these straight away. Hello. You had one of these, didn't you? Um, we had a galore cocker too, but um, our next door neighbour used to have an African grey. Hello. Hello. Which one of these that was saying hello? If you couldn't tell, they're called African greys because they're grey. <laughs> a lot like me, I'm going grey. Oh, he's um, he just sat there. He's having a good time. He is. Wow, they look healthy anyway. Hello. Right. So we've just um, we've just finished in the zoo. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the few clips that I managed to capture there. Um, we're going to head off towards Shockwave and Maelstrom now. I'm probably going to have my first ride on Maelstrom of the season. I love Maelstrom. I prefer it to cycle here at Portland's Park. I made it on my mind now. I recorded that video talking about my favourite flat ride um, and it made my it made that video because it's just amazing, isn't it? And you can't talk about cycling here without talk, talking about... You can't talk about Maelstrom <laughs> without talking about cycling later now. <laughs> yeah, it's Amperla versus Intamin. I prefer the Intamin one, personally. But yeah. You're not coming on this, are you? You're gonna sit. You're gonna sit right out for a while. Yeah, I'm so full. <laughs> yeah, to be fair, so am I. But I really want to go on Maelstrom. So you only got like an hour left. <laughs> well, yeah. To be fair, um, the ride, the, the park closes at half four apparently. Um, even though on the ticket it said six, which was really odd because when we booked the tickets it said six, didn't it? Uh -huh. Oh, <laughs> I, I bought the tickets. Jenna didn't. I wasn't so. Present. No, you wasn't present. I, I bought the tickets. 
Um, to be fair, I didn't need to book my own ticket because I'm a season pass holder. That's, that's why um, there's uh, another vlog here from Drayton Manor. And, and there will be a few more vlogs here from Drayton Manor throughout the year, I imagine, as well. Um, as we move into like, the fireworks season, the Halloween season. Um, I'll be doing my um, Halloween tour again um, in October. So yeah, should be really fun. And we've decided, I can show on YouTube, and we've decided um, <laughs> that um, Storm Force Sen should be our last round of the day. Yeah, because we'll have time. On. Yeah, because we'll have time to um, dry out in the car. So yeah, let's head towards Maelstrom and Shockwave. <laughs> just come off of two fantastic rides on Shockwave and one amazing ride on Maelstrom. What two utterly amazing rides they have here. Like those are probably my favourite in the park, then followed by Apocalypse. I absolutely love um, Shockwave and um, Maelstrom. Shockwave, um, yes it can be a little head bashy in places. The overall layout is really smooth um, and I, I love it, I really do. As long as you brace yourself for that first loop, you'll be absolutely fine. And in terms of Maelstrom, it's just such an enjoyable ride. But I love these Intamin gyro swings. I can't wait to get um, to Leesburg. Um, probably either this year or next year. Um, that's not, nothing's official, by the way. I still need to book things. Um, but yeah, we'll get on Loki, which should be really good. That's an Intamin gyro swing. Um, so yeah, we're gonna head over to Thomas Land now, get Jenna an extra cred, because I had a look, um, and the queue for troublesome trucks was dead. So do you want to uh, get some good girths? Yeah. This will be your second Gerschlauer now, won't it? Because you've, um, the Gerschlauer being the manufacturer of the ride, by the way, for those who don't know. Well, I prefer this Gerschlauer to the one at Thornton Towers. Yes. <laughs> to be fair, it's got a bit of a queue, but it's not that, it shouldn't be that bad. Um, and then we'll look at doing our last ride of the day, e.g. Um, Storm Force and probably Shockwave again. So yeah, are you ready for this? Yeah. All right. Let's get on the troublesome trucks. You actually did enjoy it though, didn't you? You, yeah, you good. really enjoyed it. Plus the wind in your hair. It does. It's got a fair amount of force to it. Yeah, look, there it goes. It's got a fair amount of force to it. Now I force right on the train. You have. I was about to say that. We have uh, found ourselves on Thomas again. If I stick my hand out here, you can just see that we're actually on the Thomas train which is really, really cool. Before, when we came here for the March weekenders, we got on the Thomas train. We were sat on Annie. Are we on Annie? Yeah. Oh, Jenna knows all the Thomas characters, don't you? Nursery life. Nursery. <laughs> but yeah, we're gonna, um, what we're gonna do now is we're going to, because um, we're coming on for 10 minutes before now, park close at half four, um, which is a really weird time to close, by the way. But I, I'm, I don't mind. <laughs> Especially when you start like an hour late. Yeah, so what, to me, to me, just a note on the vlog, um, basically there was a power call this morning which meant that um, the rides opened um, late, so Shockwave was testing when we came in, um, so was all the other rides, and that's absolutely fine, the park couldn't, the park obviously couldn't help that, um, but they got them open promptly, which was really, really good. So yeah, let's head off um, on this train, then we're gonna head towards, um, we're gonna walk through the zoo when we when we drop off the zoo and um, head towards um, Apocalypse and Sheriff Showdown. It's alright.
so that right one. so yeah here's one for jack the flamingo in a man's body if you remember the first time we came straight to manor we uh we stopped off here as well. Here are the uh, Chilean flamingos. We're where's, here where's at the um, zoo stop because we stopped, it stopped here. Look at this. This would be great if you had kids, you know. I was just saying to Jenna, the, um, the Thomas journey. Yeah, Jenna, how did you enjoy your Thomas ride? That's nice. It was, wasn't it? Bumpy. Nice and scenic. Right, we're going to head down this way and we're going to try and get to the other end of the park before everything closes because me and Jenna want to get on Stormforce 10 before we go. Yeah. Yeah, get on, a, get on a good water ride. Yeah, one of the best water rides in the UK, that is, in my opinion. Absolutely love it. And yeah, I think the, I think the Thomas ride was really good for what it was. So yeah, let's head towards um, let's head into the park. Let's see what we can get on. Jenna wanted to go on Sheriff Showdown. What? You wanted to go on Sheriff Showdown, didn't you? Uh, don't know if we have time now. Uh, we'll, we'll have to see, we'll have to see. Yeah, we got because it, it, it's four o'clock now. Well, we'll probably get on shortly for your last time. <laughs> yeah, well, well, we'll have to see. I'm not really bothered what I get on. I just want to go on Stormforce because uh, yeah. I want to. I want to get Jenna here wet. Yeah, <laughs> on Stormforce. Well, let's head this way and um, get to the ride to the back of the park. <laughs> right, so here we go. This is my first ever time on Sheriff Showdown. Right, who can get the highest score? Come on, Jenna. Three thousand already. Come on! I love a good shooting dart ride. I do. Look, it's Call of Duty. It's like a POV. I mean, a first person. Pew 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 pew. Oh, I love it. How do you even get them? You have to shoot them. Here we go. Again, this is my first time ever coming on this ride, so I don't know what to expect really. Oh, it's nice in here. I can't get anything. <laughs> wow. Yours is not even changing. Is it? Oh no! What? My gun's broke! No! I'll tell you what, I'll do a Call of Duty style POV. <laughs> you know what? It's fun for what it is, but I don't think our, um, our guns are registering. Oh, Jenna just shot me. <laughs> Put your hands up. Put your hands up, boy! Bit of Red Dead Redemption in real life. Red Dead Redemption. That's a brilliant game, that is. Oh, there is. I wish your audio was a bit louder, actually. It's quite a long dart ride, this. I'm struggling to all the. Um... Oh, he's dead. I'm struggling to all the uh... the gun and um, vlog at the same time. Shoot the chicken. Oh, poor chicken. <laughs> wow, I'm loving some of the set pieces in here. These are really impressive, aren't they? They're doing good, but my gun ain't working. <laughs> <laughs> so, basically, what you're saying is you're not enjoying it? No. <laughs> you know what? I'm going to put mine away. There's no point in using it. No, it's not even changed. Nah. Uh, you know what? We're really bad. You know what? I'm actually, I actually enjoy it for what it is. I think it's um, really well themed rides. Be better if the guns work, though. He doesn't look, look healthy, look. All right then, so we had a cheeky uh, go on Sheriff Showdown, as you saw from that POV. Wasn't planned, well, we were planning on going on it, but not that soon. We, we just walked down the queue, didn't we? Yeah. Ah, I, I was quite surprised. Gun didn't it work, though. It was queue, because no one's guns were working. <laughs> <laughs> the guns weren't working, but I tell you what, it was, it was, a, it was a really good themed ride for what it was. Um, but yeah, we're going to head towards, well, we headed towards Apocalypse. I got in the queue, and then... I, <laughs> In my opinion, the queue was about 15 minutes, and because it's only running one um, drop tower at the moment, one one seat, I didn't want to risk doing it and as not being able to get on a ride together. Because I want our last ride to be together, because you know. There it is. Oh, Stormforce 10. We've seen some right soakers today, haven't we? People, yeah. <laughs> people getting off, I'm not paying soaking wet through. Plastic bag. Nah. So, yeah. We're gonna sit in. The, we're gonna sit in the car, aren't we? And uh, well, on. let's put the seat warmers on after, um, and obviously uh, end the vlog. We are. Um, we're going on for about um, half past four now. Um, it's 50 minutes past four now, so you know we 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 are approaching the end of the day. It has been a good day overall, though, hasn't it? We'll talk more about it at the end clip. Yeah. But um, yeah, I'd say that you've got more than more than your wor uh, money's worth out of a ticket today. 
Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. And Toy Story. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, perks of being my girlfriend, I guess. Um, this is one ride I've never been on, actually. The pirate ship. It's always looked quite good. It's always been it's always, it's always quite a big one. You know what? It's a walk on. Do you want to go on the pirate ship? Come on, let's go on the pirate ship. Oh. I just saw it walking up and I was like, you know what? Might as well get on it. It's all right. I'm going to throw what? Let's get on the entrance. Oh, no, that's not what it's called. It's called the bounty. <laughs> <laughs> right. Let's get on it. Right, that was quite an unexpected ride there. I wasn't expecting to get on that. Um, to be fair, well, that's one of the ones I wanted to um, get on today. So, because I've not been on it before. So, I think everybody enjoyed that. Um, so, we are going to brave our last ride of the day now. Jenna, please tell us what we're going on. Shockwave. <laughs> Storm Force 10. Storm Force 10. Just so we can dry off in the car. And you know, if we've got time, we'll go pay Josh a visit again on the um, Wave Swinger after. Yeah. If we've got time, we'll have to see. So yeah, let's regrettably get on Storm Force 10. Again, I, I've seen so many people come off this today, absolutely dripping wet through. It's, not, it's got a good nautical theme though, I, I say that. Oh no wait, it's closed. Oh no wait, it's open. Is Josh still working on it? Can I see him? Can I see him? Oh yeah, I can, he's still working on it. Right, we'll, we'll potentially get on that after. So yeah. Let's get on. Storm Force, Jenna, are you ready? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. Look how wet, oh look how, look how wet you get. Oh mate, I am not ready for this. Right, let's get on Storm Force 10. Right then, so we just had our last ride of the day there on um, Storm Force 10. We are absolutely soaking wet through. Look, I've got a potty trick. Look what I can do. Hey, with my sleeve, I'm not sure I've got that, that I've got that on camera, but yeah, that that is honestly the best Hello, water ride in the UK. Oh, can you do it? Can yeah. we do it? Yes, we can. Apparently, we can do it. <laughs> But yeah, you are absolutely soaking wet through, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> you are absolutely soaking wet through. Yeah, I coaster on YouTube. Yeah, got him on the vlog. Look at this. Oh, you, you are soaking wet through. Soaking wet through. Your legs are soaking wet through. My uh, my my uh, my jeans soaking wet through. Easily my favourite theme park ride now. Oh, is it? Yeah. You like your water rides, don't you? And that. I do love a water ride. We are lucky to have that, aren't we? In the we? summer, Storm Force tens are one. Get on it. It's like tidal wave, just a bit better because it's a lot more than just a drop. Um, you actually go around the circuit, you drop backward. I love the turntables on there, to be honest with you. I think they're really good. The Intamin um, water ride systems are amazing. So I'm really looking forward to getting back on um, um, Valhalla when that opens in the summer. I think it's gonna be amazing. If, 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 if it rides anything like that, but with the theming, I think it's gonna be great. Do you know what's the most fun though? What? Being on the back of Storm Force 10 when you go on the back drop. Oh, that is. Uh, to be fair, I've only ever done Storm Force 10 on the back, and each time that backwards drop has absolutely soaked me. I love it though. I love it. I think it's a great ride. And again, we are lucky to have it here in the UK. So, um, yeah, we've, we have ended our day. Um, right, what's your, been your ride of the day? Storm Force 10. Storm Force 10. For me, it's either got to be Storm Force 10 or it's got to be Shockwave, hasn't it? You, you, you can't not uh, go to straight in manner and not go on Shockwave. It's an absolutely fantastic ride. I, I hope to get you on it one day, to be honest with you, because I reckon you'd really like Shockwave. Nah. I don't feel like standing up on a roller coaster. Well, you know, <laughs> um, <clears throat> operations here have been amazing. The operations on um, Storm Force were exceptional. Wave Swinger, definitely. Wave Swinger, <laughs> yeah. Wave Swinger, the. Um, the operations were exceptional. Um, big congratulations to Josh for passing his assessment on the Wave Swinger as well. Big shout out to you. Really happy that you um, you, you passed your assessment on there. That's uh, 
big big props to you because I know they they're, they're very passionate about operating rides Zoe and Josh and for them to actually um, be here working at Drayton Manor I know it means a lot to them people of the hour um, but yeah operations overall have been amazing especially on um, Shockwave they were really getting those trains out um, and all the, all the rides here have been operating uh, exceptionally well today. Would you, would you agree? Yeah. Especially troublesome trucks. They're really getting, for, for, for a coaster with one train, they're really, really getting it out. So yeah. And we have come to the end of the video then. Um, like I say, if you have liked the video, please smack that like button, hit that subscribe button, and turn on all notifications so you don't miss a single video. I've been Ryan from my coaster. This has been Jenna. And we shall see you in the next video. Goodbye. Bye.